हेलो वीवर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सईद वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ विद डॉक्टर सईद वो हैव स्टार्टेड दिस रैशनल डिफेंशियल इक्वेजन वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ नॉन होमोजूनियस टू टर्म्स फ्रैक्शनल डिफेंशियल इक्वेजन इन्वॉल्विंग कैपिटिव फ्रैक्शनल ड्रीवरी सो दिस इज अ फ्रैक्शनल डिफेंशियल इक्वेजन एंड इट कंटेन्स टू टर्म विच हैव ऑर्डरी ऑर्डर डिवरी एल्फा एंड बीटा बोथ लाइज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन एल्फा इज लेस दैन बीटा एंड सिंस इट दिस इज वी हैव अ फंक्शन एच ऑफ एक्स ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड नॉन जीरो फंक्शन सो दिस इज अ नॉन होमोजीनियस डिफेंशियल इक्वेजन विद वन इनिशियल कंडीशन ओके विल सॉल्व दिस डिफेंशियल इक्वेजन विद द लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म मैथड द मैथड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द प्रीवियस टू एग्जाम्पल्स in this uh, fractional differential equation we will use the same laplace transform method so we need to know uh, what is the laplace transform of this capital fractional differential operator and we need also to know that the uh, laplace transform of metag lepler function and for this function we need one more thing which, which is in which is studied in laplace transform course which we call it convolution theorem we have two functions and we need to know the laplace transform of that convolution of two functions we, will, we need all these tools to defend to solve this fractional differential equation okay starting with applying laplace transform on this differential equation i get applying laplace transform of this capital fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha a function y of x and then laplace transform of other term of the equation with beta arbitrary fractional derivative and is equal to laplace transform of h of x okay and now we will apply the formula for laplace transform of capital fractional derivative Uh, so using that formula it becomes s to the power alpha and the laplace transform of y of x which is denoted by capital y of s minus summation k from 0 to n minus 1 s to the power alpha minus k minus 1 y kth derivative at the point 0 this is the formula of laplace transform of this capital fractional derivative plus we need to apply it again for this differential term so it becomes s to the power beta y of s minus summation k from 0 to n minus 1 s to the power beta minus k minus 1 y with k derivative at the point 0 is equal to let's denote the laplace transform of h of x by capital h of s okay since alpha and beta both lies between 0 and 1 alpha and beta both lies between 0 and 1 and for this formula uh, alpha is always n it lies between n and n minus 1 so comparing this we get the value of n is 1 this is the next integer of it alpha or beta is less okay so taking n to be 1 and using this information in the last term we get s to the power alpha y of s minus summation uh, k 0 to n minus 1 because n is 1 so it becomes 0 so it has only one term which is 0 so plugging this s taking k to the uh, equal 0 in this term we get s to the power alpha minus k which is 0 so alpha minus 1 and y at zero order derivative which is just y of 0 plus same will be this term s of beta into y of s minus again n is 1 which is 0 so it becomes s to the power beta minus 1 and y of 0 is equal to h of s okay now we'll take common capital y of s from this term and this term so it becomes s to the power alpha 
plus s to the power beta into capital Y of s and for this term and this term we can take y of 0 common so we are left with minus s to the power alpha minus 1 plus s to the power beta minus 1 into y of 0 and this is equal to h of s and now we have given the initial condition you can see that y of 0 is capital C so using this uh, initial condition and uh, this thing becomes capital C so uh, shifting this term to the right hand side it can be written as s to the power alpha plus s to the power beta y of s is equal to h of s plus sorry s to the power alpha minus 1 s to the power beta minus 1 and into c this and from here i can write y of s is equal to h of s whole over s to the power alpha and s to the power beta plus s to the power alpha minus 1 s to the power beta minus 1 whole over s to the power alpha plus s to the power beta into c and <clears throat> a little bit more simplification y of s is equal to h of s and then 1 over s to the power alpha plus s to the power beta plus we can split this down s to the power alpha into 1 over s and same way s to the power beta into 1 over s and whole over s to the power alpha plus s to the power beta times constant c and this 1 over s can be taken as common and you see that in the numerator we are left with s to the power alpha plus s to the power beta which is the same as in the denominator so it cancels down so i get y of s is equal to capital H of s is 1 over s to the power alpha plus s to the power beta and here I get 1 over s which is common and this factor cancels down and we left with only capital C and applying inverse Laplace transform this becomes y of x because the inverse Laplace of capital Y of S will uh, return the original function Y of X and here Laplace transform of call it capital G of S and capital H of S and uh, where this function I call it capital G of X and plus here C and Laplace transform of 1 over S is just 1. So here I where capital G of S is 1 over S to the power alpha plus S to the power beta. So this can be written as if we take S to the power alpha common this becomes 1 plus S to the power beta over S to the power alpha and this term can be taken in the numerator it becomes s to the power minus alpha over this can be written as s to the power beta minus alpha and plus one taking inverse laplace it becomes less than or g of x with the inverse laplace transform of capital g of s and this becomes inverse laplace transform of s to the power s to the power minus alpha over s to the power beta minus alpha plus 1 and for this we need to use the formula uh, we know that the inverse Laplace transform of s to the power alpha minus beta whole over s to the power alpha minus lambda is equal to x to the power beta minus 1 meta leffler function 
of alpha and beta of lambda time x to the power alpha where e alpha beta is the famous two parameter left of beta left of function okay so we need to compare the term which is live here with the term which is live in here to see what value of alpha and beta it matches so you see that here we have the power minus alpha and here it has the power so it can be written as alpha minus beta is equal to minus alpha and from here i get alpha is equal to beta minus alpha i can also compare this s to power with this one and this will give alpha is equal to beta minus alpha and you can see this is the same term i get the same term that i got from the from uh, comparing the power of the numerator so here if we have plus 1 here is minus lambda so lambda will be negative 1 okay so so this mean the g of x now becomes since this laplace transform is equal to this expression so this comes x to the power beta minus 1 beta remains beta minus 1 and then beta of lepler function alpha alpha has this value beta minus alpha beta minus alpha and then beta is again beta into lambda which is negative 1 x to the power alpha which is beta minus alpha so this is the value of g of x returning back to our this function y of x is in inverse laplace transform of these two functions and now i need to uh, use the convolution concept okay first let me write it down now i have y of x is equal to inverse laplace transform of uh, g of s capital h of s plus c into 1 and here h of here uh, h of s is the inverse uh, h of is the laplace transform of h of x and capital g of x is the laplace transform of g of x h of x is given unknown a uh, given function <coughs> and g of x which i have found to be this one okay now since we know that the convolution theorem convolution of two functions f and g this is denoted by f star g and defined as integral from 0 to x and then x minus tau sorry f of x minus tau g of tau d tau and the laplace transform of f static g is equal to capital f of s and capital g of s where capital f of s is the laplace transform of this f and capital g of s is the laplace transform of g so this is the result in laplace form transform we will use this result here and you can see that here uh if i take one more step so it is f static g is equal to in inverse laplace transform of capital f of s capital g of s so here i can use this one so it means this expression laplace inverse laplace transform of capital g of x and capital h of s is just the convolution of g and s g and h so this becomes y of x is equal to g of and uh, g of x steric h of x and plus capital c 
and now using the definition of steric function this becomes y of x integral from 0 to x g x minus tau into h of tau into d of tau plus constant and then using the definition of g of x which i just found earlier here you can see that this is the value of g of x plugging this value this term to be integral from 0 to x <coughs> this becomes x minus tau to the power beta minus 1 beta of Leffler function beta minus alpha and alpha into minus 1 into x which becomes x minus tau to the power L beta minus alpha and then we have h of tau d tau and plus constant so this is my final solution of the given fractional differential equation which contains metabolic Leffler function so guys you have seen that using Laplace transform method we can not only solve homogeneous differential equation but we can also solve non-homogeneous differential equation the one I just solved there. Thank you for watching.